So a new study by researchers right here in San Diego may have discovered why COVID-19 hits older people especially hard. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl going in-depth on the recently published findings, which may have implications for a vaccine. If you're 65 or older, your risk of winding up in the hospital from COVID-19 is 5 to 11 times higher than somebody under 30, and your risk of death is at least 90 times higher. Researchers at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology think the reason why has to do with these dancing red-colored dots, T-cells. Some viruses get controlled by one part of the immune system, some viruses get controlled by another. And in this case, it seems like the, the T-cells really do a lot of the work. Dr. Shane Crotty and his colleagues looked at 54 people infected with the virus, some who had severe cases, others that were mild. And they measured the three aspects of their adaptive immune systems, antibodies, helper T-cells, and killer T-cells. Our data indicated that, that of the older individuals, um, it was particularly those that they had fewer T cells to start with um, that looked like they really struggled to, to control this virus. T cells are white blood cells that do different jobs in the immune system. And as you age, you have fewer T cells to draw from. That collection of T cells gets gets smaller, so it's harder than to recognize new viruses. Their study, published Wednesday in the journal Cell, showed that people with all three arms of the immune system tended to do well, and their data could help vaccine makers interpret results from clinical trials and find the right dosing. Is a given vaccine actually a good vaccine, and you just need to go give one more Booster immunization? Does it work in one population, but really doesn't work well in the elderly because it, it fails to generate a T cell response, for example? Those, those are the scenarios where this type of knowledge will, will hopefully come into play. Certain vaccine approaches only produce two of the three parts of the immune response, not killer T cells. But Dr. Crotty says their findings do not discount any of the leading candidates from companies like AstraZeneca, Moderna, and Pfizer. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.